Hi everyone, my name is David Hilditch. I'm the designer and developer of this product, the Multilingualizer. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the differences between the Multilingualizer and Localize and Bablic. Okay, all three of them sort of do the same thing. They basically add multilingual capabilities to your website. So if that's Squarespace or Shopify or something along those lines, anything that any website that allows you to upload JavaScript. Now, the way that they all work is they basically let you um, use the same URL and uh, translate the text on that page. Now, the major difference, um, I'll go into it in a bit more detail and I'll show you an example, is that with the multilingualizer, all of your text actually exists on your pages. Um, whereas with Bablic and Localize, your translated text, your original text stays on your Squarespace site, for example, but say if you've tra translated it into German or French or Spanish, then those translations exist on their servers, on the Bablic or localized servers. Now, there's a number of reasons why that's a problem. The first and most important one, a major, major problem, is that it means that your customers searching in French or German or Spanish will not find your site. Okay, because Google cannot see that text. It's not on your page, so Google can't see it. So all the effort that you're going to of translating your site into uh, German, Spanish, French, Italian, whatever it is, um, it's great for people that search in English, for Italian people that search in English and then come to your site and then they're like, okay, great, I can switch to Italian. But if they're searching in Italian, they can't find your site. Okay, and I'll demonstrate that to you in a, in a minute. Um, now, the other thing, um, basically with the multilingualizer, we just charge a one-off fee. Um, so obviously I'm developing this and making it better and better and better all the time. I mean, we've already been running this for about a year. Um, this is second, third, second of March today, um, and so it's, it's going great guns. Customers love it. You can check out the reviews. Um, but that ninety nine pound, basically, you own that code after you've bought it, and you don't need to pay again. That means unlimited languages, unlimited uh, traffic, etc., etc. Okay, so here's our major competition: Localize and Bablic. Now, the first big difference, obviously. Localizer doing a sort of software as a service pricing model here, $50, that's about £35 uh, per month for two languages. So that's at least £350, £400 a year for the most basic version of Localize. And you're restricted to two languages and you're restricted to 100,000 page views. Okay, again with the multilingualizer, 100 quid, £99, unlimited languages, unlimited traffic. Okay, and it's better. Now, uh, obviously, you can see the prices that they go up to, etc., uh, etc. Et Similarly, with Bablic, they have a bit cheaper, twenty dollars a month. That's about um, thirteen pounds, something like that. So, um, I mean, another way to do that would actually be converting this ninety nine dollars, ninety nine pounds is about one hundred fifty dollars. Um, but you can see that that's two hundred forty dollars a year. Again, restricted to two languages, restricted with your page views. Um, and then they're trying to, you know, get you going on this one, which is six hundred plus dollars a year. Okay, so that's the first difference is the price. Now the second difference, the the main difference, the main reason why you should be choosing the multilingualizer rather than Bablic or Localize, is for this example. So I've got um, an example website here, which is a no no. This is one of um, the bat. You see here it says powered by Bablic. Okay, so this is a Bablic client. Is one of the ones that they feature on their site. Um, if I can find it, it's somewhere about they had it. Yeah. Okay. So you see here, just aligned. This is one of the ones that they're highlighting as one of their major clients. No, no, three. Just aligned to say this is an amazing solution, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I don't know if Ruth Enrique has found out yet that her site isn't visible to people searching in the other languages, but I'll show you what it means. Okay, so in this example, you see their little language translator. They have English and Spanish. Okay, so that's it translated into Spanish there. And that's it in English. Okay, now this text is the... What I'll do is I'll show you a Google search. Okay, so this is me searching for Nono3, the name of the company. And the Spanish text. So it's a Spanish company and the first text that they actually had their site in was in Spanish and they've added the English text. Okay, so I've done a search over here um, for Nono3 and it is not the strongest of the species which you can see is the English 
version of the text, big bold text on the homepage. Normally Google would be lapping that up. And they don't appear at all. Literally, they do not appear at all, okay? It is impossible, it is impossible with Bablic and localized JS for your translated texts to appear in the Google search engine. Okay, so that means all the effort that you go to of translating the text, Google will not be able to see the text and people searching in these extra languages will not be able to find your website. The only way they'll be able to use the translations is if they search in English or the original language, in this case they have to search in Spanish, find the site and then switch to English. Okay. So that's public. Now here's um, localized. So localized have an example here. Um, sorry, that's uh, yeah. So that was public again, right? So here we go. This is um, one of the localized customers. So you see Venzi, and um, here's their homepage. Um, they do something to do with spreadsheets. Okay, so this is the little uh, localized translator bar. And you see it's here in English, Spanish. They also have it translated into Portuguese. Okay, now here is Inefficient Spreadsheets Z, And you can see it's coming up, right? And it's seeing that text. Now, this is the only text that Google will see. If somebody searches in Spanish, they cannot find it. Okay, Z will not appear. Okay, it's impossible because they store your translated text on their server. Google can't see it, it cannot see it. Okay, so here's an example with the multilingualizer. Similar kind of idea. Okay, basically you can add the translator bar to your menu. In this case, it's in French, so I'll just show you switching to English. Okay, so they have this text here, teach, motivate and inspire children of the Dominican Republic, um, etc, etc. Now, if I search, well, here's the first one in English. So we teach, motivate, and inspire children. I didn't even have to include the Charlie's Foundation in order to try and find it, okay? It's up the top. You see it, Charlie's Foundation. Okay, we teach, motivate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now here is searching for that text in French. And, okay, I mean, it's not first place, but you see it's third. Okay. And that text is actually on the page, which is why Google can see it, which means that people searching in French can find your site. Okay, so that means if you want people to find your site, you don't use Bablic and you don't use Localize. You use the Multilingualizer. Okay, and on top of that, we don't charge you a monthly fee. There's no charge for extra languages, no charge for um, traffic or any kind of stuff like that. The fact is that you get the code and the code exists on your server. And regardless, whatever happens in the future, you'll have a copy of that code and you, it'll just keep running, okay? There's no need to pay extra monthly fees or yearly fees or anything like that. Uh, you pay one fee, you get the capability to make your Squarespace or Shopify site or whatever kind of website it is. As long as you can upload JavaScript, um, then you get the access to unlimited languages and unlimited traffic. And it's better for SEO, okay? If anybody has any questions about this at all, Come over here to my website, multilingualizer.com, click Q&A, and uh, ask me a question. I'm happy to answer. I've got lots of happy customers already. They're all loving it. Anybody that's found us, compared to Localize and Bablic, they're over the moon because it's a better solution, and it's far cheaper. Okay, any questions, let me know. You can ask in the YouTube box or anywhere you want, and I'll respond as soon as I can.